नमो महाबदन्ना कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो नगपते ಜೀವಾಮ ಭಕ್ತಿಹೀನಾಯ ಪರಾಧ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ತ ಕಾಮಿ ತರಂಗ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಕೃಪಾ ಮಯಿ ತಾಂ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಬೃಂದೇನುಮಸ್ತೆ ಚರಣಾರಬಿಂದ ಬೃಂದೇನುಮಸ್ತೆ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ 
honor to hear. And if we have really transcendental sadha, even a seed of that, then we can gradually know all these things. All kinds of lust will go away. And gradually our Suddha Sattva will come and then we can realize. We are not qualified to speak or to hear, but yet something we must hear those who are seniors. So for senior devotees, I am telling something, they should, should hear with very strong faith and honor. They should know, and then after that they should be, begin from, uh, follow from beginning. But they should hear. So first uh, Krishna, Iswara Parama, Krishna Satchidananda Vigra, Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakam. Not only this, is uh, Krishna is Swayam Bhagavan. Ete Chansa Kala Punsa Krishnastu Bhagavan Swayam. Himself Bhagavan. What is Himself Bhagavan? He is Brajanda Ninja. He is Ocean of Rush. Sarva Shakti Man. Having all kinds of powers, contradicted to each other, but all are in Krishna. And Shakti, Shakti, Mato, Rabhedaha. There is no difference between Krishna and his powers. So, Krishna is Sarva Karan Karan, Sarva Shaktiman Akhil Rashambit Sindhu. We can hear, but no realization. You can hear. And by practice, by practicing thousands, thousands of births, if you are realizing, oh, you are very fortunate, very fortunate. Who are gopis? Gopis are the Vilas Murti of Krishna Himself. Krishna is one without second. He is Advay Gyan Partatva. I have told about this. I know that you don't know. Advay Gyan Partatva. He will ek Akhil Vishwa Brahmanda. All Chit Jagat. Transcendental world, Jiva Jagat, all the Jivas and all this material world has come from his power. Everything. So there is no difference between them. But yet, Bheda Bhed. Difference and non difference. Both. We cannot calculate it by our mind. Only we can know by our Guru Parampara line. Amnaya Praha. By Amnaya. You should know what is Amnaya. Amnaya is authentic. Our Guru Parampara line. <coughs> Their thoughts. All the base, Upanishad and everything in the line. Our Guru Parampara has accepted it. It may be bad, but not accepted by our parampara, we will reject. So our Guru Parampara has accepted that Srimad Bhagavatam is Amal Praman. And Srimad Bhagavatam and all Shastra can be like that. That all the gopis are non different to Krishna. What is Lok of Brahma Sangita? Ananda Chinamaya Rasa Prati Bhavita Bhiha Tabhi Jay Evani Jarupataya Kalabhi 
there are rupa of Krishna. Himself Krishna they are. Srimati Radhika is himself Krishna. No difference at all. Only for Vilas, for pastimes, testing each other. Krishna has been divided into two. In Vrindavan, in Vanshibhat, Krishna was there alone and from his left side. Very beautiful. His Parashakti, Ladani Shakti, in the form of Sri Radhika Sikh came, came out. And she ran words to Krishna with Ra. Ra, telling Ra. And she ran after Krishna to meet. Ra, Anurag, Dha Dhavati, with Anurag, with high class of ecstasy, ecstasy? Yes. Yes. love and emotion. She was running to ask Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. So he became Radha. And she was worshipped by Krishna himself. So she, her name is Radhika. But himself Krishna. You cannot imagine. But Shastra say like this. So we should accept. <coughs> their love, what is their love? Hmm? What is their love? Huh? You know that bhav. Bhav is, any, is not anything of this world. It is called Shuddha Sattva. The essence of Ladini and Sambhit on Sandini. Platform will be what? Sandini. Sandini is platform. Without Sandini, no Ladini and no they will meet on the platform of Sandini, Ladini, but by name, always making heart to Krishna. His body is made of what? Highest class of Mahabhav. All his organs, all his mode, all senses, everything, her hair, everything, eyes, all are made of Mahabhav. So that she is Ladin. And gopis, then manifest and cry view of bodily manifestation. bodily manifestation of Srimati Radhika. So they are one with Krishna, all. You cannot imagine how they are one and how they are different. <coughs> and their love, Mahabhav. So beginning from Bhav, Rati. What is Rati? When at the time of practice Bhakti Yoga, when we will cross Sadhana Bhakti, and then we will come on the border of Bhav Bhakti. We are doing Bhakti for what? Only to achieve Bhav. Then it is Sadhana. If you are chanting, remembering, doing all these things, practicing, but not, there is the object that bhav. I want to attain bhav. What kind of bhav? Like Sri Damsuba, like Nanda Baba, like Jasoda <coughs> like gopis, among gopis. Only the mood of Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, Lavang Manjari, like this. Then that mood will come like electric current. It will come here. So, then it will, that when that mood will come, and we will be, be Tadatma with the Gop, the mood of jivas, there is something also in soul's heart, combination of both. Bhava Bhakti will come. After that, 
When bhav will come, then vastu siddhi. Sarup siddhi will come. And apsa sarup siddhi. Then vastu siddhi will come. You will give up this body. Totally. And you may come in the om bhav and go peace. And then something will be practiced there to practice there. What? There is something. In that body, prem may come, not in this body. This body cannot tolerate prem. At once you will die. This body will die. It will burn. At once if prem will come. Never you can in this body. So for that prem, oh, that Shuddha Sattva body is essential. There may be so many causes that that love, prem, should go away. Prem, tutne ka karunu bastit hone par bhi jo prem nao nomaya maam drishti se nitya vardhat hi hota rahata hai, usse prem kaate hai. What? True love is that love which does not break even when there is a cause to break it. There is sufficient cause. When there is sufficient cause. And instead of breaking, it becomes more and more new and fresh. New, 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 new. <coughs> Unlimited it goes. Then it is called <laughs> Prem. Not like worldly persons, our lust, that in a day or two day or some day, oh, house, uh, um, wife and husband, marriage and next day, Oh, friendship, very bosom friendship. And if any cause comes, Pramtis go away quickly. Then he becomes enemy. <coughs> I know so many. <laughs> there are first bosom friends after they, they, they became? Bosom enemy. <laughs> those who were enemies, they became? Friends. So this is no <laughs> Actually, no love. And so that love, it touches our heart, and when it becomes so dense, dense, yes, khana, yes. very thick, then our heart melts, tears comes, and so many symptoms of Ashtasatri comes, then it is called sneha, more sneha, very thick and thicker, 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 in his lost stage. It becomes a pranay. Do you know what is pranay? When lover and, lover and beloved, beloved becomes no shy, nothing, no different thinking. Like a person goes to bathroom, becomes twa naked and in mirror he sees himself. No shyness. No? When beloved will, with beloved lover, will like shame, no shame, nothing, not on thinking that, oh, my sight, my, what, shade, shadow, thinks that I am myself shadow, no, no. When they both, beloved and beloved, will be like this, this is called prana. We cannot imagine, but you can hear this anyhow. And after that, man comes. If beloved thinks that if he will do man some anger mood, then my lover must come and specify. Short and leave. It cannot be changed. So that prana becomes like man. And then Krishna has to come to pacify, otherwise never. And after that, what becomes? Raga Anurag or Nitya Naveen. Any beloved is saying to Krishna or Krishna is saying to his beloved, oh, 
I have never met, I have never seen Krishna. Who is that black person? And when it comes so high, then it is called Mahabhav. Very high class of this. Very high class. In Bhakti Rishwami Sindhu, it has been told. If we will come to this stage, then we can realize something of love of Radha and Krishna, who is Radha, who is Krishna. But yet, I am giving some glance. Glance? Okay? Like a shadow thing. Because I am not a realized person. But always thinking and thinking. So I am giving some idea of that. Then, what is Mahabhav? When Radha and Krishna they meet together, they forget themselves that who am I, who are you? Mali ecstatic, what? <coughs> love. Only love is there. And love controls them both. Krishna does not know that I am Krishna. Srimati Radhika never, especially this is the mood of Radhika, not of Krishna, because Krishna is the object of love and Radhika is container of <coughs> about of love. So this mood will come. That who am I? She forgets. <coughs> Who is Krishna? She forgets and thinks we are one. And only she thinking like that. Pai dahi rag, No dhuti, nothing was there. Hmm? Dhuti, you know? Messenger. No messenger was to between our love. Only these eyes were there. High cross of Rasa Raj Mahabhav then comes. In Chaitanya Chaitanya it is as. So, <coughs> Gopi Prem, this Prem is not a very, like a Rasa Gulla of Calcutta or Delhi. <laughs> not a Rasa Gulla. Here, so many persons make Rasa Gulla, but not actually like Pantaban or Calcutta or Rasa Gulla. <laughs> Saturated with sweet everywhere, very sweet fragrance. So, uh, like a spoon. So, <laughs> now with this thinking, all these things come to Vrindavan. Leave your body here, from this mortal. Living all kinds of your modes, all problems. Everything, come with me. We should, let us go to Vrindavan. <laughs> and then you can realize something. Don't remember anything. <laughs> now, you should come that Krishna is going to cowherd in Vrindavan. And gopis are telling, what? Aknatang phalamidam na param vidama shakyo na pravesha yoto vayasya bhaktam prajesha sutayo anuvenu jastam jaiva nipitam anurakta katakshimur. Oh, there was Vasanthi Ritu, spring time. All the flowers of all seasons were in bloom in Vrindavan. Jamna was flowing very sweetly, color, 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 color. So many lotus flowers were there in bosom. And their fragrance was attracting bumblebees. And they are glorifying. Perhaps they were telling Radhe, Radhe, Radhe here and there. And perhaps they became mad. became mad 
all the pieces, bumblebees. And Krishna took lakhs and lakhs cows. Also their friends joined him with lakhs and lakhs cows. And so many cowherd boys. You cannot imagine. We are only 300 or likewise, not more than that. And if here be lakhs, perhaps they will have no place to sit even. And if Krishna is going with his nine lakhs cows of Nanda Baba, and Sridham is coming with eleven lakhs of cows, where they will sit or stand, there will be no seat to stand even. And then where they will graze, and how they will be controlled. Very difficult. But Dham is also Krishna, like Baldev Prabhu himself. He becomes expansion. And sometimes, what? Expansion and? So Krishna is going to raise up, grazing cow. They are play, playing, jumping, and all are telling Krishna, Krishna, Kanhaya, Bhaiya, Kanhaya, like this. And gopis are in their houses. So many groups of gopis, of different gopis groups, and they are remembering Krishna, as if they are seeing, and they are telling, oh, we know that uh, we have eyes, but only eyes are not sufficient. The eyes who have not taken the darshan of Krishna. What Krishna? Which Krishna? Going. Krishna is going. Krishna and Baldev both are there. Baldev is some advanced. And Krishna playing on his floor, searching something from his crooked eyes here and there. And so many gopis are standing here and there, and they are making arti by their eyes, and Krishna accepting them. So, Nanda Sutta, yeah. what? Brajesha uh, Sutta Those who have not seen Brajesha Sutta going to cow her, their eyes are in vain. Some thunderbolt should come and finish these eyes. No need of having these eyes. But those who have told that Brajesha Sutayo, Brajesha Sutayo means the son of Nanda Baba. Baldev is not son of Nanda Baba, but he has been supported and nourished by. Nanda Baba. So he always thinks that my father is Nanda Baba, not Vasudeva or anybody. And to Jasoda, she is my mother. So it has been told by Sukhdev Prajyas Sutayu. But also some more meaning. What? Prajyas Sutayo. There are two Prajyas. Two Prajyas. Oh. One Nand Baba and more superior, Vishubhanwa, he is also Brajesh. Nand Baba has one son, who? Krishna. And Vishubhanu Maharaj has? Three. Three. But Suta is Radhika, the daughter of Vishubhanu Maharaj. Here Sutascha, Sutascha is Sutayo. By in Sanskrit grammar. So here he, it has been told. The eyes, when Krishna is going and not seeing to whom? Brajeshri to Aradha and Krishna. What they are doing? Krishna was playing on floor. Ram has advanced given, to give chance. Gopir surrounded Krishna. And Radhika met with Krishna. 
he possibly took the ban the float of Krishna. Anubenu Jostam. And then she began to play and Krishna became so attractive that I cannot do like this. <laughs> and he is looking with crooked eyes, very attractive. If this scene has not seen that these eyes are like useless, thunderbolt type ones, come, finish this, I don't want. And Isakhi is totally telling. Explanation of Vishwanasya Kavarti Thakur, very rashi. Oh, let us go to see Krishna. Oh, just now Krishna is in line. We should go. But another Sakhi is telling. Don't tell loudly. If your mother in law is here, at once she will punish you. Don't. Tell. Oh, what she will do? His daughter is, is her daughter is going, himself she is going. I don't fear. Oh, but there is a reason for fear. We should not go to Krishna. Oh, let us go. This sin will never be seen again. And life is very short. And if you will, Krishna will go. You can see this stream. So please come. We should come and we will meet Krishna. Oh, how it can be? Oh, Krishna's sweet voice and his face is so beautiful and attractive. Then when you will see by eyes, he will attract you and you will give up your dharja. Passion. Dharma. Pati Bhartha Dharma and Lajja Shem at all. And then you will be desperate and you will quickly do. Let us come. So, Prajesha Surtayo Anubenu Jushtam Jaivar Nibitam Anurakta Kataksha Moksha. They were all doing like this thing. And so many things, Purna Pulinda. And then Krishna decided after that that coming Saratharitu, we should Srijan. Bhagavan Api Taratri Sarvat Pulla Mallika Vikcharantum Manaschakri Yog Maya Mupash. Gopis has no desire, but Krishna has desire. What desire? Bhagavan api, he is Swayam Bhagavan. He is Atmaram. You know Atmaram. Atmakam. self satisfied No wishes, nothing, Atmaram. But yet, when he remembered Gopis, at once he was remembering what? Yog Maya Mupashritaha. Yog Maya. What is the meaning of Yog Maya? The power of Krishna. Hladani Shakti, like Parashakti of Krishna. Who manages everything. Is called Yog Maya. Where there will be Yog Maya? No influence of this material Mahamaya. Nothing. That is why in Vrindavan, in Golok Vrindavan, all, everything is managed and controlled by Yogamaya. There is no influence of Mahamaya. So any Jeev who, who are serving Krishna, any soul, they cannot forget Krishna and they cannot come from there, this illusory Maya. They cannot fall down. <coughs> so, Krishna, Rantum Manas Chakre. Oh, he decided at once that I should do a bilas, a pastime, that anyone here, this pastime, all will be attracted and they will be liberated and they will follow the principles of Bhakti Yoga 
and quickly they will go to work. There is no other powerful way or process. He is so merciful. So out of his mercy he did like so. Then Banam Chata Komal Gobhi Ranjitam Jagau Kalam Bama Dishamano Haram He took his fruit. It was evening time, after evening. Moon, like golden moon, full moon, was coming from east side. As if she has so many, so much gulal. Gulal means red color. And the east direction is like his beloved. And by his Kiran, by his hands, raised. Oh, he took so much gulal and he put on the face of Purvadisha. Like, he remembered this and at once he took his float on his lips. And jagam kalau, jagam kalau means make a very sweet tune. What tune was that? Hmm? It is written in this. Hmm? The seed mantra. Hmm? Cling. By this, all gopis thought that Krishna is calling Radha. Uh, Lalita. All are thinking that he is calling to me only, not to anyone. The essence of Gopal mantra is the seed clean? Hmm? How? Kalam ka la and bamadrisha manoharam a a e e in Sanskrit language. The fourth letter is called bamadrisha. It is like a grammar here also essence of grammar. So, ka or combine. combine and a, a, e, e. E means <coughs> it came here that it became kli and manoharam. What manoharam? Ah. What? Deity of mind is moon. So moon, what? Chandra Bindu. Chandra Bindu like a dot. In Sanskrit it is called Anuswar. Then it becomes Kling. And by Kling all gopis thought that Krishna is only calling him. And they came. When they came, Krishna saw. I'm telling very briefly. To come to my point. This is also a, like a bhumika. I am giving introduction for my subject. So, <coughs> when all go be assembled, like mad, if any thief has taken his golden ornament any, and if anyone is persuading a thief, your Krishna flute sound is like a thief. And he entered in the heart of gopis and took away their hearts. And quickly coming to Krishna with their hearts. As if all the gopis were following that sound and they are coming to Krishna. Thinking that I am alone coming to Krishna for my heart. Ajagmo, anno, annam, alakchito, dhyama. Javalolokundala. All like a charming, like mad. They all came to Krishna. Krishna saw and now he was just smiling and telling to gopis, Oh my dear gopis, you are high class of devotees. I know that you came to see this uh, Vrindavan 
scenery of Vrindavan. And in that, especially to see me, because I am supreme personality of Godhead. So you come to see me. Now you have seen me, and you have seen this very beautiful scenery of Vrindavan, Jamuna, and everything you have seen. Now you should return. You must return. If any chest lady is there, she should not come alone with any other person, any other male person. If their husbands are so ugly, <laughs> nevertheless, attacked by any disease, they cannot do anything penniless, or they are kubja, a chest lady should serve their husband. This is by the culture. I know that you have husbands. You should return and serve your husband. If you are not doing, then you are going from eh? by the cultures and you will have to go to hell. So positively, certainly you should return. Krishna gave so many examples that you, from Vedas and here and there, you must go, return. Then gopis were thinking that Krishna is joking or really he is telling what is this fact. So, one gopi told that, O oh Gurudev, Namaskar to you. You are my Gurudev. And I, we think that a oh, high class of this teachings, instruction cannot give anyone. So you are really our Guru. And in Shastri it has been told that first you worship your Guru Dev to anyone. Anyone begin from, so you are Guru Dev, you should accept our worshiping. And then we will worship to our, our husbands and to, to Bhagavan or to Narayan to anyone. We should worship. First you. And if you are not accepting, then you are breaking the law of all dharmas. You are responsible for the... So it will be... You will have to take the reaction of these things. Especially you have told, Je jathang maam prapadyante tam tathaiva bhajamyam vam vartman vartante manushya partha sarvasaha those who are worshipping me, they are meditating me, or what they are doing, or according to their qualities, I must give a reward. So if you are serving, you are, you are not taking, so you are deity. You will have to, but bound to suffer. They told so many things that Krishna was become he could not <coughs> reply. And then, after that, there became some rush, dance and singing and all things. After that, Krishna disappeared from rush. All began to lament and cry bitterly, bitterly crying. All they may become totally mad. They began to ask from trees, creepers, animals even, from Jamuna, have you seen Krishna, have you seen Krishna, like this. After that they began to do Leela. Leela means, oh, some gopis become himself Krishna, thinking I am no Krishna. And she took his cloth, like this, oh, I am Krishna. I am taking Govardhan. See how, how I am. And some began to take another lady and she, she sat on the breast of that lady. Oh, I am Krishna and she is Putana. And how I am doing? Killing this Putana. Some eh? Some, some were 
playing on floor and oh how sweet I'm playing. You should see. So they began to do. <coughs> they became totally mad. And then they began to sing. Jayatiti Dikam Janmana Praja Srayati Indira Swaswadatrahi Daita Drishyatam Dikshustavaka Paithita Sabakka Vichanda Tavakatha Amritam Tatta Jeevanam Kavivyaritam Kalmashapa Shavadamangalam Shrimadatatam Bhavitrinantite Uridayana Tavakathamrtam, one gopi is telling. Tavakathamrtam, Amrtam, or your pastimes and all your speaking or how like nectar. If anyone feeling so much problems and he is upset in this world, feeling so much pain in this world, he is burning in the in the first fire of so many problems. If they will hear Harikatha, everything will be pacified. So Krishna Katha is like Amritam. And those who are distributing this nature, they are most high class of donors. So in this world, those who are taking Srimad Bhagavata and giving, distributing these kinds of love and affection to others, so they are high class of donate. And some are telling opposite to this, Tavakathamrtham, your name and your pastimes and the teachings are your words like poison, mrtam. We realize this. We are very happy in our worldly things. But when you saw and heard your words, and we become like bad. All kinds of problems came. And now we are homeless. We have no uh, at, uh, very drop of love and affection for our homes. Husbands, children, nothing. Now you are there. Those who are preaching these things and telling the Harikatha, they are like enemy cutters and like butchers. Butcher. Why? By making here, disputing these things. Oh, if animal here, he will give up his home. Husband will give up his wife. And wife will give up his husband. And without home, homeless they will become homeless. And they will come to burn like forest, like birds. Weeping himself and making weeping their family, whole family. So don't hear this. Be very careful. And those who are taking Bhagavatam here and telling that I will not take any fee. Come and only hear, hear Krishna Katha. Oh, they are like butchers. They will cut your affection from worldly and you cannot be happy in this world. So don't hear all this. So, so many groups of gopis are making so many groups of meaning of the same slope. And several, several, so many kinds of earth are coming in this. Shukdev Goswami has given some ideas, but Vishwanachakvarti Thakur, like Sanatana Goswami, Ji Goswami, they have explained so many, so many. Each group separate meaning. After that, Krishna came, appeared in that moment. And he became so beautiful there, smiling, but with shame he is coming. Appeared in their council. Then, Though many, so many posture it has been told here. I am coming to my point that any gopis took the hands of Krishna on his soldier 
anyone, someone, other, they could throw it in, his, in her laps. Some, uh, he, he took his betel nut from his mouth and from, her, <coughs> from distance, they were looking towards Krishna with crooked eyes, with arrow-like. Oh, how you are? We gave up everything for you. You became homeless. We left our husband and everything, even our shyness, dharja, dharma, everything. We left. And you left in a moment us. We know that there are three kinds of persons. Those who have any prem, they do prem. What? What, what many? This is one kind of And another, if you are not loving, but a person is so perfect that he loves. And third class, whether you are loving or not, he has no love for anyone. There are three kinds of person in this world. I think any of one you are. So in these three, who, which are you are? We are saying that we are loving you, but you are not loving me. Krishna told this smiling that let me hear. If anyone is loving and reciprocal, another is loving him. This is not pure love. This is like a business. You are loving and you want that he should love me. But I'm not like this. This is like a business. No, no transcendental or pure love. Nothing. So I am not among them. And those not loving, but yet he is loving. Who are they? Like father, mother. Son, after they became some young, they give up their father and mothers. But even father and mothers have so much love and affection for them. They can do something against them. But even father and mother always loving their children without any care. Oh, this is somewhat better. There is some re real religion there and some actual love. But I am not among these persons. And the persons who love anyone, but they don't love, they have not love. Whether you are loving him or not, he is not going to love anyone in this world. These are of four kinds. Atmaram, Atmakam, Guru Drohi, Guru. Try to uh, understand. Those who are Atma come, no requirement anything. Like Sukadeva Goswami or Sanak Sanandan, they have no worldly desire or any desire. They are Atma Kam or Atma. Self satisfied. Krishna is satisfied in all way. He had nothing to take from anyone and then satisfied. So, it may be that those who are satisfied, Atma Kam or Atma Raman, they are ramaning in his Atma. Means themselves. They. And third, uh, Akritavya, ungrateful creatures, like animals. Father Naran doing so many things for our children, and they are so ungrateful. 
that give up their father mothers and kuru drohi not only give, give him up them they give so many problems to their father and mother they may think that oh why he is not dying they may shoot their father and mother thinking they are my enemy but really they are not interested so they are guru drohi but i am not among any of iron so how many became first second and these four six kinds and no other i am your beloved you are my beloved so i only disappeared to increase your love as if there is chintamani desire stone or making gold touch a stone anyhow he was very poor and he was very poor man and after that he had by chance he had a touch a stone or desire stone after some time he neglected he did not knew that this is touch a stone and anyhow anyone took it away stolen away then he was searching and one asked him the what you are searching oh that a stone <coughs> it was very beautiful and anyone has taken oh this was not any ordinary stone it was what it was chintamani it can give everything as you desire and then he began to be i have lost that thing so first i came to you appear and then i disappeared only to increase your love and affection for me for me and to be more and more nearer to me you are my beloved i am your beloved i cannot repay you in lakhs and lakhs bas na pare hum nirbaddha sanjujan sasad kritya vibudha ju sapi va ma vajan durjar greh shrinkala sambrich tadva pratsad krishna is telling that i cannot repay in lakhs and lakhs but gopis are not sadak gopis are not siddha who are gopis himself krishna the kabhi of radhika but he is testing all these things these are not ordinary thing they are all trans more than transcendental so krishna and gopis are like this those who will hear all these things always remembering all these past time and chant hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama,
outline of this. After that, what became? Vrindavan Lila was completed. And Akrus was sent by Kans to take Krishna and Baldev to save their father and mother, Vasudev and Devaki. Vasudev and Devaki. Why? Kans has put them in jail. And he is giving so much sufferings. Sometimes he is kicking by his fists on their, their chest. Abusing so much. Why? Where you have kept your child? I know that he has taken birth from you, but you have sent. Tell where he is, otherwise I will kill you. And daily he comes and he killed his six sons. And seventh was sent to Gokul in the Omba for Rohini. And eighth was Krishna, but strictly it was sent to Gokul. And he mixed in Purna Krishna in Jashoda Omba. So where you have kept, so he was making so much problems for Devi and Vasudeva. So, Kansa was realizing that we sent so many demons to kill Krishna in Gokul and here and there. But they were all killed, never they came to give any message and report. So I cannot kill him there. So we should try to invite them that they should come and we play a very good play here in the sacrifice jagya of uh, arena of Shankar, Rangeshwar Mahadev. And all my subjects will come, they should come. And then we will play so many good things here. So Akru went. And after what we can, we will discuss tomorrow. Go, Prama. You so dare in part. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna
little drama. Also, I was asked to announce that tomorrow are initiations. So anyone who is being initiated or, would, or is, would like to request to be initiated could please come and see Brajanath Prabhu or Naveen Krishna Prabhu immediately after uh, the program tonight. And tomorrow... Fire sacrifice at 10 o'clock in the morning. Amesh Prabhu is shaving. No, who will take initiation? They will set their head for their person. Who will shave? So just before the drama is going to start, we have one uh, Hindi bhajan tonight from Asha Didi from Toronto, Canada. The pleasure of Srila Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Man Mohan Murari Nand Lala Bhajo Radhe Govind Gopala Man Mohan Murari Nand Lala Bhajo Radhe Govind Gopala Man Mohan Murari Nand Lala Bhajo Radhe Govind Gopala wonderful drama for the pleasure of Srila Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas. So thank you all so much for assembling. <coughs> all glories to Lord Chaitanya. All glories to Nityananda. All glories to Adoita Chandra. And all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed for South India, King Prataparuja called Sarvabhama Bhattacharya to his palace. When Sarvabhama Bhattacharya met with the king, the king offered him a seat with all respects and inquired about news of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> so nice to see you. I have heard that one great personality has come from Bengal, and I have also heard that he is very, very merciful. I 
have also heard that he has shown you great mercy. Anyway, this is what I've heard from many different persons. Now showing great favor to me, please arrange an interview with the Lord. All that you have heard is true. But as far as an interview is concerned, this is very difficult to arrange. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the renounced order of life and very much detached from all worldly affairs. He stays in solitary places and even in dreams does not grant interviews to kings. Still, I would try to arrange an interview for you, but he has recently left for South India. Why has he left Jagannath Puri? Thus is the pastimes of great personalities. Great saints go to holy places in order to purify them. Thus, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has visited many Tirthas and is <coughs> delivering many, many conditioned souls. This is the duty of a Vaishnava. Actually, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not a conditioned soul, but the supreme personality of God in himself. And thus, he is an independent controller. He does he does not need, he is an independent controller. <laughs> Why did you not fall at his lotus feet and keep him here? I tried, but he is the supreme personality of God in himself. And thus, I was not successful. Oh, Bhattacharya, you are the most experienced and learned person I know. Therefore, when you address Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as Lord Krishna himself, I accept this as the truth. But the Lord will again return from South India. I beg at your lotus feet that you will arrange an interview so that my eyes can be perfect just once. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will return very soon. And I would like to have a nice place ready for him. This place should be very near the Jagannath Temple. And also, this place should be very secluded and solitary. Having heard my request, please arrange this for him. Yes, Kazimichu's place is exactly what you desire. It is very close to the temple of Lord Jagannath. It is very calm and very quiet. Yes, it would be perfect. Let us go immediately and make arrangements. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu returned from his South Indian tour, Maharaj Prataparudra, the king of Orissa, became very anxious to meet him. How will I be able to meet Sri Chaitanya? What will I do? I know. I shall write a letter to Sarva Boma Bhattacharya. Yes, that's right. I will write. My dear Sarva Boma Bhattacharya, please appeal to all the devotees of the Lord on my behalf. If the devotees of the Lord are favorable to me, then they can submit my petition to the Lord on my behalf. If one gets the mercy of the devotees of the Lord, then one will get an interview. But if I do not get an interview with the Lord, my kingdom does not appeal to me. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not show me his mercy, then I will give up my kingdom. I will become a mendicant and wear an ivory earring and go from door to door begging. Yes, that's better. Oh yes, I will send this immediately. I will. When Bhattacharya received this letter, he became very anxious. He then took the letter and went to the devotees of the Lord. At that time, Gopinatha Charja came there while Salva Boma Bhattacharya was with King Prataparudra. Being a Brahmin, 
He offered his benediction to the king. And he addressed Sarvabhama Bhattacharya as follows. About 200 devotees are coming to Bengal. They are all greatly advanced devotees and are specifically devoted to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They have all already arrived and are waiting on the banks of Lake Narendra. I desire residential quarters for sod arrangements for all. Yes! I will immediately tell the temple superintendent and he will arrange for residential quarters and prasadam as you require. My dear Saiba Boma, please show me one after another Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates who have come from Bengal. Let us go up on the roof of the palace. I do not know them, but Gopinathacharya knows them all, and he will identify them for you. Oh, yes. of the Lord, known as Prema Sankirtan, congregational chanting in love of Godhead. In this age of Kali, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended to preach the religion of Krishna consciousness. Therefore, the chanting of the holy names is the only religious principle for this age. Anyone who worships Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with congregational chanting should be considered to be very intelligent. And anyone who does not should be considered to be a victim of this age of Kali. 
and bereft of all intelligence. In this age of Kali, intelligent persons perform congregational chanting to worship the incarnation of the Lord, who is constantly chanting the names of Krishna. Although his complexion is not blackish, he is Krishna himself. And he is accompanied by his associates, his friends, his servants, his weapons, and his confidential companions. According to the revealed scriptures, it is said that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Lord Krishna himself. Why then are learned scholars sometimes indifferent to him? Oh. Only a person who has received but a small fraction of the mercy of the Lord can understand that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Lord himself. Only a person who has received a small fraction and no one else. There, all the devotees are running straight for the residence of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why is that? Well, this is called spontaneous love. All of these devotees are very eager to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And thus, they are going to see him. First they will see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and then, along with him, they will go and see Jagannath. There! There! There's the son of Baba Nandaroy Baninath. And he is going with five or seven men with a huge quantity of Jagannath Pashada. Mm. Indeed, Baninath has already gone to the residence of Mahaprabhu with a large quantity of Pashada. Please tell me the reason for this. Knowing that a great many devotees are coming from Bengal, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given the sign and great quantities of Mahaprasadam have been brought. My dear Guruji, I want to ask you one question. Yes. Why is it that they have not performed the regulations for visiting holy places, like fasting and shaving? Why have they taken Mahaprasadam first? All that you have said is true regarding the Vedic regulative principles regarding the visiting of holy places. But there is another path, which is the path of Raganuga Bhakti, spontaneous love. <coughs> Only a person who has pure love for the Lord can see the Lord. <coughs> John. One morning, as I was sitting on my bed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave me a little Mahaprasadam. And I immediately ate it without even washing my hands. A person who has re realized Sri Krishna within his heart does not care for Vedic regulative principles or Vedic social customs, but he accepts Krishna and only Krishna. That is very wonderful. Well, you two are very great devotees. Now you go and see Lord Chaitanya and his associates to your hearts to tell. And I will go and make other arrangements. Yes, yes. So Ramananda Roy arrived from South India. Upon meeting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Roy offered his obeisances. <laughs> the Lord embraced him. And both of them began to cry in the great ecstasy of love. Seeing Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's intimate dealings with Sri Ramananda Roy, all the devotees there were greatly astonished. Mahaprabhu, I approached King Prataparuda as he told me, and I asked him, I want to go and serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for all my life. What did you say? 
Oh, upon hearing your name, he immediately jumped up and he grasped me and he was a feeling ecstatic bliss. He said, oh, how lowly am I that this whole life I may not have darshan of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, the son of Maharaj Nanda. I don't think within my heart there is even a fraction of a love for you that is in the heart of King Mahaprabhu. Hey, Ramananda, you are indeed the topmost devotee of the Lord. And therefore, because the king has shown so much love for you, Krishna will certainly be merciful to him. This is the conclusion of all Shastra. Krishna himself has said in Adipuran, Ye me bhakta janapata, na me bhaktas chate janaha. Anyone who says, I am directly the devotee of Krishna, he is not my devotee. <laughs> but he who is the devotee of my devotee, he is my real devotee. In Srimad Bhagavatam, the conclusion has also been given, Mad Bhakta Pujavyadika. What is the quality of a real devotee? He performs very first class worship of the pure devotees. Again, in the uh, Padma Purana, it is stated there, Aradhananam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param. The Vedas have recommended so many types of worship of different demigods. But actually, the highest worship of all is the worship of Vishnu. But there's something more. Tasmat Paratam Devi Tadiyanam Sumachanam. Higher than the worship of Vishnu even is worship of the Vaishnava. It is so high. Such a wonderful thing. But the association of such great souls is not easy to attain. Those whose sukriti and austerity is meager, they cannot attain the association of such high class of devotees who are running very quickly back home, back to Godhead. So in conclusion, you should know that no one, but no one can attain the lotus feet of Krishna without the mercy of the Vaishnavas. So, King Prataparu has been very merciful to me, Mahaprabhu. He has told me, go serve your Prabhu, and I have come. And he has given me full leave and full security in my, in, with money he's sending. So, you should have mercy upon him, and just once, just once, show him your beautiful lotus-like feet. Before placing such a request to me, you should consider, first of all, whether or not it is befitting for a sannyasi to meet with a king. If a mendicant meets with a king, what is the result? This world and the next world both are completely destroyed for that mendicant. What to speak of the next world? Even in this life, everyone will laugh at him and he will become the object of jokes. You are the supreme independent personality. You have nothing to Krishna, fear. Krishna, 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 Krishna. You are dependent upon no one. I am not the supreme personality of Godhead. I am an ordinary living being, an ordinary human being. And therefore, I must fear public opinion in three ways. By my body, by my mind, and by my words. Don't you know, don't you understand, that if the general public sees just one small fault one tiny fault in the character of a sannyasi, what do they do? They immediately broadcast it everywhere like wildfire. You know, if there's a black spot of ink on a big white sheet, it cannot remain hidden. It will be very, very prominent there. You have saved unlimited amount of impious living entities. I have heard of Jagai and Madai, so many. But yet this king is a devotee of Vishnu. And this king thinks of you every day and loves you. And you are not being merciful to him. And you are not showing him your love to you. Ramananda. <laughs> you should know that if there is a large pot of milk, so fresh and sweet and fragrant, but that pot of milk is touched by one drop of liquor, then it becomes contaminated and it is completely rejectable. So King Prataparudra 
He may have all good qualities, but simply by accepting the title king, everything has become contaminated, infected, and untouchable. <laughs> there must be a way. If anyone can think of a way, it is you, Mahaprabhu. In Shastra, it has been told there that the son of a man is his representative. So I think if you want me to meet with the king, then you should send his son to me. I will meet with his son, and that will be as good as meeting the king. <laughs> the prince, just entering upon his youth, was very beautiful. He was blackish in complexion and had large lotus eyes. The prince was dressed in yellow cloth and there were jewel ornaments decorating his body. Therefore, anyone who saw him would remember Lord Krishna. son is the representative of the king. So, at this time, I implore you, let me take your son to Mahaprabhu. Oh, very nice! Oh, very nice! <laughs> Go! is a great devotee. Simply by seeing him, one can remember Brajendananda and Shamasunda. Oh, only by seeing you, I become so obliged. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna! Oh, Krishna! 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 Oh, Krishna! You can return this boy to the palace, and you, you should come and meet with me every single day. You come. As soon as the prince was touched by Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, symptoms of ecstatic love had immediately manifested themselves in his body. These symptoms included perspiration, <coughs> trembling, tears, being stunned, and jubilation. They then departed from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy took the boy back to the king's palace. The king was very happy when he heard of his son's activities. Oh, oh, my dear son. Oh. Oh, Krishna! <laughs> Embracing his son, he experienced such ecstatic bliss as if he was embracing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
When King Prataparuja returned to Jagannath Puri, he called for Sarvabhama Bhattacharya. When Bhattacharya went to see the king, the king offered him respects and made the following inquiry. Oh, my dear Guruji, pronounce you. Please sit down, sit down. <laughs> Have you submitted my petition to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Yes, yes I have. I have tried very hard, but despite my great endeavor, the Lord has refused. Indeed, he said that if we should continue to ask him, he will leave Jagannath Puri and go elsewhere. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has descended to deliver all sorts of sinful persons. Consequently, he has delivered sinners like Jagai and Mada. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to deliver all kinds of sinners, with the exception of a king named Prataparuja Rai. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descended to deliver all kinds of sinners, with the exception of me. He has shown his <coughs> merciful glance to all kinds of low-born persons who should not even be seen. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is determined not to see me, then I am determined to give up my life. If Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does not show me his mercy, then my kingdom, my life, are all useless. <laughs> I am very astonished to see the determination of the king. My dear king, do not worry. Because of your firm determination, I am sure that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will grant you his mercy. The Lord is only bought with pure love. And your love for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is very, very deep. Therefore, I do not have a doubt in my mind that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will see you. There is one way by which you can see the Lord directly. There is? Yes. What is it? Yes. What is it? On the day of the car festival, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will dance in ecstatic love before the deity. On that Rathiyatra festival day, he will then go to the Gundicha garden. You should also go there, stripped of your royal dress. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu goes to the Gundicha, you should also go there and recite five chapters about Krishna dancing with the gopis. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be in a mood of ecstatic love, <clears throat> bereft of all outside motivations and consciousness. At that time, you should read those five chapters from Srimad Bhagavatam. Yes. And that way, you will be able to catch hold of the feet of Lord Chaitanya. <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will then hear you and he will understand that you are a pure devotee of a pure Vaishnava. He will then embrace you and you, life, your life will be completely fulfilled. The Lord has already changed his mind because of Ramananda Roy's description of your pure love for him. So you should not worry. You will see the Lord. Come, let us go and see Jagannath. Perugia, after thus encouraging King Prataparuja, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya returned home. On the day of Lord Jagannath's bathing, bathing ceremony, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy at heart. After seeing the bathing ceremony of Lord Jagannath, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very happy. 
But when Lord Jagannath retired after the ceremony, Lord Chaitanya became very unhappy because he could not see him. On the day of Ratha Yatra, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced ecstatically in love of God. Throughout the day, he sprinkled transcendental Krishna Prem upon everyone, including animals and plants. After the festival, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the garden and laid down without external consciousness. <laughs> Following Savabhama about the charges instructions, the king had given up his royal dress. He now entered the garden in the dress of a Vaishnava. Maharaj Prataparuja was so humble that with folded hands he first took permission from all the devotees. Then, with great courage, he fell down and touched the lotus feet of the Lord. My dear Krishna, ever since you took your birth in the land of Braj, everything appears to be glorious. The land of Braj has become so glorious that even the goddess of fortune is always personally existing here. <sighs> but it is only we who are very unhappy because we are searching for you, because we cannot see you. Our greatest efforts are not manifesting. Our life is completely dependent on you. Therefore, we request you to again come to us. Jayanti
some of his divine opulences to the king. And he forbade him to disclose this to anyone. Although within, within his heart, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu knew everything that was happening. Externally, he did not disclose it. Nor did he disclose the fact that he knew he was talking with King Pataparudra. Whoever sees or hears these pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will attain a greed for his lotus feet within his heart. Gaur Premanam Yudhi! Hearing so much high classes of Hari Pratha pastimes, so sweet pastimes of Krishna, I think that in your life you have not enjoyed Hari Katha and this kinds of very high kinds of powerful drama play also. These are not drama play, you don't think. You should think that these are also the part of my class. I am not telling by, by my representative. They are telling all these two things. Try to learn so much things from these things. If you are trying to be like Maharaja Prataparudra. If Mahaprabhu Mahasi is not there, 
then what is the use of this wealth, kingdom, and my life even? And he promised that I should give up everything. I will be a yogi, give up all my kingdoms, and even if Mahaprabhu Mahasri is not sorry only, I will give up my life. Eh? Jumping in ocean or going anywhere. Can you decide like this? Then Krishna Prem. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, being a sannyasi, how is he strict? Even he is not meeting with a king, though the king was very high class of devotee, you are seeing, always reciting. Tava Kathamritam Tata Jeevanam Kabhiritam Kalmashapam Like this, all this. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh, tell him that, oh, even name is king. I cannot see with him, I cannot meet him. You know, Haridash, Choto Haridash, how much he was high class of devotee. But he met with any girlfriend, girl, and he gave up her whole life. A sannyasi should be strict like him. But nowadays, what we are seeing? We are not following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew that in future it will be like this. Sannyasi will test all kinds of worldly things and world, uh, worldly persons, very poor, they cannot enjoy all these things. But Sannyasi more than our king, they will enjoy everything. Oh, so many Shabadashi with them. Eh? So much opulent. Lakhs and lakhs dollars they will have. Hmm? So this is not good for sannyasis. They are not sannyasis, they are Kali sannyasis. And you are saying all these things. We should try to follow. If you want to have love and affection for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, always remember Choto Haridasa Katha Janomane. Always you should remember the pastime between Mahaprabhu and Pratapurudra. Always be like that. So good, very good, high class of um, this um, drama place. I think it is not drama play. Directly, instruction, and in easy way, they are making prasadam like this. So you should always be devoted like this. Always remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His high classes of charitra, character, and his shiksha, teachings. I uh, bestow my heartly blessings to the players here, um, Prem Prayojan. Mahi Bharat, Raya Ramananda, <laughs> all others, Lalit Mohan, all their high class as a devotee. They should be ideal Brahmachari and Sannyasi. And then they can preach my mission to the whole world. You should try to be very qualified like this and try to accept all the processes that Rupa Goswami has to. I want that. We are now four days or now many, many. So good, good, very instructive, powerful uh, drama place to be done. And also I am giving so much high class of Harikatha. You should try to understand. Huh? You should give your all desires and everything in the ocean to California, Pacific Ocean, and be very pure. Forget, uh, forget all kinds of um, problems, no. Enemy, enemies, and in power, eh? and this and everything. And be ideal 
devotees. When you will return, you should take all these things in your hearts. Always. Remember Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sarva Radha and Krishna conjugal. Gaur Brahmande. <laughs>